The Nobel Prize in Medicine goes to two scientists whose research laid the groundwork for COVID-19 vaccines that have since been given billions of times around the world. Together they have saved millions of lives, prevented severe COVID-19, reduced the overall disease burden and enabled societies to open up again. Catalin Carrico and Drew Wiseman found a way to chemically tweak messenger RNA without triggering an inflammatory immune response. Their discovery fundamentally changed our understanding of how mRNA interacts with the immune system and was incorporated into the first of their kind vaccines made by Moderna and Pfizer BioNTech when the pandemic struck. While skeptics have seized in part on the COVID vaccine's rapid development, the breakthrough behind the shots was actually published almost 20 years ago. That basic discovery turned out to be extremely useful much, much later. And this is exactly how science works. And we think that, you know, you can't have a better example of how something became useful for the whole world and for humanity. The World Health Organization, which coordinated the global response to the pandemic, shares that sentiment. Today is a great day for health, a great day for science, and a great day for vaccines. A day the pair never thought would come, as they recalled decades of rejection, failed clinical trials, and how few people recognize the significance of their work and its potential to one day save lives. I, I never expected my entire life to, to get the Nobel Prize. And we said, you know, th th this has to be a prank. Some, some anti-vaxxer is, 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 you know, playing with us. If you like to solve problems that, uh, you know, science is for you. There are high hopes for the future of mRNA vaccines. Wiseman says work is currently underway on developing mRNA shots for things like autoimmune diseases, allergies, and even personalized treatments on cancer patients that may one day be able to target specific kinds of tumors. For City News, I'm Karen Seolin.